Alex, what's your evaluation of today's defeat? Um, if you're going to give up as easy a goals as we give up, you're always going to find it difficult to win games. Um, and I, th I thought that I thought that basically was a defining part in the game. It was obviously we gifted two cheap goals away, and then I don't think you can fault the lads for their effort and, and, and try to get back into the match. But the gear sell a mountain to climb, and then when that happens, I thought we got a little bit of belief for, for the goal we got back. I thought the lads rallied and, and, and tried to force us and get the next one. Um, we had some moments in about the edge of their box. I think we ran offside sometimes far too often. We got into areas, didn't pick out a bit of cross. Got into spaces, I think there's one we get down the side, we should cut it back, we've got an opportunity, and we just smash it across the box. You know, and I don't, I don't know if it's maybe desperation or just hit and hope or whatever. I, I'm not quite sure, I can't put my finger on as to why we don't have that, the sort of an element of composure once we get in there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, it's extremely frustrating. You know, our, our home form's been extremely poor. Um, and not only that, I think because we're trying to play a bit more and open the pitch up, we're leaving ourselves a little bit more exposed. Um, so that's certainly sort of food for thought for me in terms of how we go forward. You mentioned the nature of the sloppy goals. It seems to be a common theme at the moment. Is there anything you can do to address that? Or is it more down to the individuals out there? No, I, th I think there's, there's, always, there's always the lads' part and there's always my part. You know, I think... Towards the second half, we turned the ball forward and played around second balls more. So, I mean, you basically eliminate risk in your play then, but it's certainly not, it's certainly not um, a viewing spectacle, shall we say. But at the stage we're at at the moment, we need wins in the board, you know. So we might need to be a bit more direct in our play um, and be a bit more secure behind the ball. It's not ideally how I'd like to play, but as always, you need to adapt in terms of the situation you find yourself. The penalty seemed to spark the team into life. Do you feel as though if it had come a little bit earlier, it could have been a different story? Yeah, but it's all ifs and buts, isn't it? You know, if we didn't get sloppy goals away, we wouldn't need to be chasing the game in the first place. So, um, yeah, that, that does, yeah, it doesn't make any difference. What's the mood like in the changing room at the minute? Um, Sombre. I mean, frustrated, disappointed. So, yeah, listen, it's, it's, it's a tough one because, as I say, I don't think Birmingham have had to work overly hard this, today to get the victory um, and I think that's probably the biggest frustration from our point of view like I say though I think the effort that the, the lads put in I thought I thought they tried I didn't think it, it certainly wasn't through a lack of effort um, I didn't think or structurally the game was a problem it wasn't as if they were getting down the sides that often or they were controlling the ball that often it, it basically it boiled down to making sort of bad mistakes maybe not matching your runs at set plays and it cost us a game in terms of home form at the moment, how big of a concern is that? A huge concern because the fact is the bulk of our fans only see us at home. You know, so certainly if I'm a Stoke fan coming and, and watching the games of late and we've been losing, I wouldn't be happy. We are naturally not happy and my job is to try and come up with a, a sort of fix to get us the best chance of picking up points. So yeah, I, I need to obviously go away and, and try and have a think about that.